let's start talking about intentions. What is an intention? Do you know what intentions mean and what we are talking about? Mm, it's an action. It's an action. Okay, continue. Mm, it's a way to to do uh, some action, for example. A way to do some action, okay. What intention is a, a way to do some action? I like it, yes. And what relation has this intention to language, to communication? What What is the relation between intention and, and speaking, you know? Do you know the, 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 the relation? Mm -hmm. We have talked about that. And one of the most important relations here is uh, the, the structures. Like, how do you know when to use a structure? We have talked about this many, many, many times in the past. Try to think about that the application of an intention, the, the importance of, uh, okay, let's go like that. Importance of an intention and context. What do you know about this? For example, um, with um, with an intention, uh, we want to advise some action. Advice, like mm -hmm. recommend. No, uh, we want to notify. Okay. Some action, for example. Uh, continue. But context uh, determines uh, an action that we can do. Nice. Including not only the action. I think we need to we need to include more information to that definition. Okay. We are going to include yes, uh, the action, right? A sentence includes the action plus the time when it happened, you know, and and the message in general. When you are talking about time. We are talking about tense because if you need to speak about, let me insert a little, a little dashboard. Look at these words. If you want to talk about, for example, something that happened. No, something that happens usually. Please observe the following task. This is a this is a board of structures that we use. Over here, you have use. When we want to talk about 
this, and then you have two examples. Okay, so let's let's analyze this step by step. We are going to consider two things first. The use, which is a structure. The structure that you are going to use is determines the intention of the sentence. Intention of your message. Because when you have the intention correctly and you know what intention you want to speak, then you are going to select the correct structure. In this case, we are talking about the structure number two. Use the structure number two in the structures handbook. I'm talking about this one. You know, structures two, when you are talking about Anyone? When do we need to use structure two? Routines. When you are talking about routines. Routines. Correct. So let's talk about that. We are going to use a structure when we want to talk about routines. These routines indication is the context of the conversation. This is the context of the conversation. And as an example, we have, I always go for a walk at four. How do you know this expression meets the structure number two? This is a real question. How do you know that we need structure two? Mm -hmm. Because it's a routine. How do you know it's a routine? Mm, because it's something that we do uh, constantly. Close, close. Yes. What part of the sentence gives me this indication? Mm, in this example, is uh, always. Is expression always. And the expression always is the time expression. Mm -hmm. The time expression always provides the context of the conversation that we need. Do we understand the relation in this case? Mm, yeah, uh, because the uh, time expression always uh, means that 
uh, the, some action, no, some actions uh, is the is doing the constantly between no uh, or happening happening yeah happening constantly uh -huh, exactly happening constantly yeah the, verb, the the expression always goes directly uh, associated with exactly the time no how often it happens the the frequency of the of the action right and apart from that the uh, the expression always is also related to the form of the verb so technically here we need to the, the, uh, understand something very important the time expression determines the time determines the context and determines the structure that's so important to have in mind the time expression let's copy this again is really important the time expression determines one the structure that you're going to use the time of the verb or the tense the tense or time of the verb and at the same time the context of the conversation if you don't match the the time expression with the verb your sentence is incorrect so that's the first point that we need to take to remember here the first thing we need to dominate to talk in english is the usage is the relation of the context and the verb the context and the verb the context is going to determine the correct application of the verb All this information is collocated in this following chart. Look at this. This chart contains all the different contexts that we have studied during the, the course. We have different contexts here. In a structure, for example, number eight. Structure number eight, this is new in the in the course. Number eight? Yeah, this is past before past. Um, no. Before past, okay. Mm -hmm. Which is for gossip. Gossip and past before past. Had arrived to the airport before you parked the car. Or another example is like, uh, my grandma told me that she had bought bought me some cookies. In every case, there is an indicative. There is always one word 
that tells me the time or that indicates the time in every single sentence. Every single sentence includes a time expression. And all the time expressions are expressed in color purple. All the different time expressions, we always have it in color purple. For example, in the first case, you say that time expression, I always go for a walk at four. What is the time expression, Benji? Always. Always. That's correct. If I say in number two, I am listening to great music. So everybody shut up. Um, Laurita, what is the time expression in this case? Sometimes the time expression is implicit. Eh? In this case, the time expression is implicit. What is the time expression in this case, Laurita? Is possible so? So? I, so? I am listening to great music, so shut up. But so is not a... It's an expression only. Time expression. Time expression is a... Is a word that represents the time. The, uh -huh. It's a... It's now another way to say it is is the word that tells you the mm. exactly the time you said now no now because isn't say time exactly because, uh -huh. because mm, we know but, it's but the no? expression is um, listening is now it's ing mm -hmm. no yes Totally correct. So in this case, there, there is a, an implicit, I am listening mm -hmm. to great music, parenthesis, right now. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary to say right now because the I am listening indicates the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, good. Next, Benji. I was washing the windows when the phone rang. What is the time expression in this case? Mm. This indicates interrupted actions, eh? Interrupted action. Mm. Mm. This uh, time expression <clears throat> is implicit. Uh, but uh, I associate <clears throat> uh, any time in the past. Oh, surprise. Uh -uh. It's not implicit. It is totally explicit. Um, it's right there in front of you. Um, what? No. Was incorrect. Ah. Because the structure in this case, the structure is the past B plus ING. So this oh, okay. is. Okay. Yeah. Right? It's not That's... possible to include the was. Exactly. Technically, the was washing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. mm. Similar to the previous, the previous I am listening, I'm listening is the verb. And the, the other is go, go is the verb. Then in this case, which one, what expression or what section indicates the time? Mm, and so is a uh, when? Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, in this case, when uh, indicates uh, that is interrupted action that is interrupted mm -hmm. That's right and actually not only when you can include all this no when and the rest right. of course okay because 
to know that something was interrupted, I need a second action. What interrupted the washing the windows? No. Okay. Yeah. If you don't say the second part, it's not interrupted. It's a normal action in past. I washed the windows. Yeah. So it's very different to say was washing versus washed. Yes, it's correct because if we uh, omit when the phone rang, mm -hmm. uh, the sentence is a normal sentence in past, for example. Exactly. And it's not necessary to say when. Yeah. You okay. can say the phone rang. Ah, okay. The phone rang. <laughs> uh, at six o'clock. Ah, okay. Very cool. But I was washing the windows when the phone rang. Ah, okay. The second, the, the phone gives context to the washing the, uh, the windows. And probably for that reason, I couldn't uh, pick up the phone or I had an accident, no? And that's the reason I am speaking this. I don't know. This okay. provides a lot of context. Uh, I have a question with this uh, structure. Yeah. structure. Uh, uh, we can... Uh, exchange uh, the switch, no? No, switch. Well, uh, well, we can uh, convert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I was washing in the time expression, for example, if, uh -huh, if uh, switch the sentence, for example, uh, the phone rang when I was washing the window. Exactly. That okay. is totally correct. That is totally correct. It depends on your emphasis. And this is language. You select what's your emphasis point. Are, do you want to speak about the phone or do you want to speak about the windows? You know? And you select the, the priority. Do you know priority? Yeah. You select the priority. You you prioritize the, the idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have a uh, other question. Sure, tell me <laughs> in what's the, up. Uh, in the, uh, the other one example, the I am listen to red music. Uh, if, if we write uh, literally <laughs> right now is a pleonas, for example, Ah, that's a good question. It's not. You can say. Uh, you can say I am listening to great music right now, or you can say I am listening to great music. No, there's no difference. Okay. But it's important to understand that it's not necessary to say right now when you say ing. That's how important is the ing. Milk. You know, because if you say, for example, if you say, I go for a walk right now, it's contradictory. Okay. You know, it's like right now is present teacher. <laughs> and, and, and this, the first is present. So I go for a walk right now. That's incorrect. Yes, right now is present, but it's a different present. Yes. No. And you need to, to check the correct verb corresponding to the time expression. If you eliminate right now, the context is in the ING. No problem. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Too much information. I, yes. Relax, teacher. Relax. Talk about right now. Okay. Let's go now. Mm. This is an example that is very important for Caesar. For example, Caesar, that you just came to the class. Hello, brother. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Are you are you understanding the 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 class the the explanation? Mm, so some. Tell me, what's our question? Mm, 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 mm. 
I, I understand that for routines, it's in, it's in, in time for present. Okay. Um, think right now or future plans mm -hmm. is in present continuous because um, is the correct no this is a, a, a plan that yes or yes how do you say sucederá you know you know how do you say sucederá stop very uh, 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 remember memory memory Hello guys, how do you say suceder in English? Pasar. Have, have, have. Have, happen. Have, have, happen. 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 Exactly. Will happen. Will happen. Okay. That, that is that is incorrect. We are not talking about future man. No, 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 no. I am listening to great music. When are we listening to great music? The expression mm. is now. Okay. So this is not future. You see? And that's oh, precisely, okay. You see? That's precisely the reason I don't like to use grammar names. Because grammar names only confuse us. Teacher right now is present. Then why not I right now go? Yes. No? Or ah, present continuous, this is future. Okay, but what happened with I am listening right now? Okay, it's for example, um, I'm working in famous company. Okay, famous. F famous, famous, famous company. Famous. Famous company. Okay. The, this is in, in present continuous. Because the Monday at Friday, I, I'm working in famous company, but every okay. week. Why, why do we do we need to use present continuous? Uh, when I have um... oh no 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 this is a, a routine. This is a routine, precisely. So that's important, the importance of this column. This column is the most important, even more important than grammar, eliminate grammar. The most important column that you need to associate in your mind is this column. Okay. The column of the context. But, um. Why, why, why is the um, future plans and this is present continuous? Because but, you can say, I am, I am having dinner tonight with Liz. Oh, um, okay. Okay, it's not necessary speaking in with will for example exactly how that's precisely the part of the lesson what sentence what section in 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 the second example what is the word that determines the context mm, tonight exactly thanks to the word tonight we have context. Okay. That's right. Teacher? Yes, Benji. Uh, in this example, uh, tonight uh, indicates a, a future, for example. Tonight indicates future, correct. Okay. 
Correct. And all that information, all that information is in your structures handbook. If you see, if the structures handbook has purple words. Here you have expressions for momentary actions, like right now, in this moment, and at the moment. But you have expressions for future plans, for example, later, next week, tomorrow, at night. At night. night similar to night. <laughs> exactly. It's the same. Uh -huh. no, yeah. Okay. That's correct, brother. That's precisely the relation here. Okay, okay. So it's very it's very common to say, I will have dinner tonight. That is a different context. In a moment, we see the difference. Okay, but the idea is here. You need to associate the time expression with the correct structure. Use this structure when you want to talk about this. These are called momentary actions. Momentary actions or future plans. That sounds better. Sounds good, no? Easy to understand. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Let's talk about actions that happened. Actions that happened. Um, Laurita, find the verb and the time expression. Mm, the word is yesterday. The word, what word? The word, the time expression Excellent. is yesterday. The time expression is yesterday, correct. Yes. And the verb? The verb went. The verb went, exactly. Uh -huh. This is the importance of the previous classes, regular and irregular verbs. Yes. Right? How do you know you need a regular verb? You know it because, because uh -huh. of time expression. It's a, it's a irregular verb. Mm -hmm. <coughs> correct. Uh -huh. Let's talk about, let's analyze the situation. Okay. I went for a walk yesterday at four. For structure, for context five, you need to remember regular and irregular verbs. Right, because we need to know the correct form of the very past. So let's make a little a little exercise on on memorization. Okay. Let's practice regulars and irregulars. Uh, Benji, tell me three actions you did yesterday. Mm. Yesterday, ate. Mm -hmm. Ate a sandwich. Ate a sandwich. Uh, mm, uh, saw TV. Saw TV. And played uh, video games. And played video games. Perfect. So we have eat, ate, eaten. Eat, eat, eaten. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know this is irregular. Eat, ate, eaten. See, saw, so, saw. So, uh, okay. I know see, saw, so, seen. Sorry. See, saw, so, seen. And play. Plate, plate. Plate. Exactly. 
eat, ate, eaten. This is in pattern number. Uh, number one. Pattern no. number one, pattern in the, the patterns. Remember the patterns. Yeah, there are uh, seven patterns, no? There are seven, nine. Eight. Ah, yeah. Nine patterns. Nine patterns, oh. Nine patterns. Yes. In, in previous classes, we only saw seven, but there are there are nine. Okay. Pattern uh -huh. Pattern three. Begin, begun, begun. Begin, begun, no. begun. And then we have eat, eat, eaten. No, it sounds. No. Ah, yeah, hey, pattern seven. Pattern seven, exactly. Yeah. Because this is broken, spoken, stolen, chosen, frozen. It's together. You can associate it is similar to freeze. Because it ate eaten, freeze, froze, frozen. You see, you can associate like that. Pattern seven. See, so, seen. This is in. See, so, seen. This is also number pattern seven because the last sound ends in N. These two pattern seven. So. Uh -huh. It's pattern seven too. Mm -hmm. On the other side, play, play, play is regular. So we need to talk about regular verbs. There are three patterns. When it starts with ed, when you pronounce the, the ed, when you don't pronounce the ed, you pronounce it like a t or you pronounce it like a d. Which one matches in this case? Mm -hmm. the, the point no. see the point one no point one pattern number one number one no because you don't say play it number one says if the last sound in the verb is a t or a d but in this case the last Sound of the verb is a Y. Uh, yeah, okay. You see? Therefore, it's not, it's not number one. Another. Is three. Mm -hmm. It's three because it ends in E. Plate. Plate. Uh, Plate. 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 And three things, what teacher? Three things you did yesterday. Mm. With irregular verbs? No, with any, any verb. Anything you did yesterday, whatever. Okay, Um. I drink, not drunk. Okay, some, you said drink. Uh -huh. Some tea. Okay, um, drink, drunk, drunk. Yeah. Irregular or irregular? Irregular verb. Correct. Drink, drunk, drunk. Perfect, what else? Mm, I work hard. <laughs> You worked hard, exactly. Regular or regular? Irregular. 
Incorrect. It worked. No, regular. It worked. It worked. We can see it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. And what else? Mm. I walk. Okay, walk. Regular or regular? Regular. Correct. Walk and the rest. In a moment, we check the patterns. Let's check Jesse because Jesse is in the chat. Hello, Jess. Hello, hello, guys. So I will get the next, please. Yes. Uh, thank you. Hi, Lau. Good hello. night. Hello. Yes. Good you. night. Good night, Benji. Hi, Benji. Hi, yes. Good night. Good night, Benji. Thank you, Anses. Uh, Hi, Seth. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Seth. So thank you, everyone. Uh, good night. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank see you. See you. You're welcome. Perfect. So we have work, work, work. What is the, the pattern in the case of work? Work ends in. Mm, number two. Work ends in. K. K, exactly, which is number two, precisely. Pattern two. Transition, mm -hmm. it passed. Worked. Exactly. Worked. Yes. And work in present. Ah, okay, yes, of course. <laughs> the other one, then walk, is in the same area, no? Because it yes. is K. Pattern? Number two. Exactly. Transition. Walk, walked. Exactly. Walked. Excellent. That's correct. On the other side, we have drink, drank, drunk. Uh, pattern pattern number three. Exactly. Pattern number three. The E A O pattern. Right? Yeah. So having these two slides in front of you when you're talking past is very, very effective. Once you detect the time expression in past, now you need to understand regular and irregular verbs. And this will be very effective for the next part, which is half. The auxiliary half needs these two again. We are going to study that tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Sure. Do you have any question right now? Mm, not for this moment. Not for the moment. Then please make some examples so we can continue practicing tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Okay. Very okay, good, my teacher. guys. Thank you for waiting for me. And I will Thank see you teacher. tomorrow. All right? See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Thank see you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye.